what is the place of woman? Just a minute, just a minute. Yes, yes, that yes. is the question. In in so in Zoroastrian teaching, yes. what is her function? He is the first prophet in history to say, bring woman up to equal with man. He says, I will hold the hand of man and woman, and forth with them all will I lead them into paradise. So, so man and woman are of equal status. And this has helped uh, our community to advance, because there has been harmony in the house. The man and the woman are of equal status, they share equal thoughts, they love their children equally, they bring forward all their uh, 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 helpful qualities to educate the children. There is no disharmony in the house. Man and woman are both equal. When we were small, children of two years and three years old, we had our mother taught us just one line prayer. Dadar Ormaz, loving father, creator, Aura Mazda, Kul Jahan, the entire world, granted health and blessing. You did not pray only for yourself, you prayed for the whole world, that was, and for every creature in that world, whether it was human or non-human. It took in the whole of creation. Kul Jahan ne tandarus ane bhalukara. So now I will tell you the main, the main points that Zarathustra taught. One was, one was on friendship. You do not betray your friend. You, you, you help him in time of sorrow and you are by his side in time of difficulty. Friendship is sacred. Food is sacred. You do not guzzle your food. You do not eat so much that you vomit it up again. That is a desecration. Food is sacred. It has to be enjoyed. It has to be eaten in balance. It has to be eaten according to your system, how much your system can take it and enjoy it. Food is sacred and to be enjoyed. Our body is sacred and to be kept clean and healthy and always with devotion to our Mazda. Our body belongs not to us, but to our Mazda. So we have to dedicate our body also to our Mazda. And how do we dedicate it? By keeping it clean and healthy. Don't eat so much that you vomit. That is a desecration. And, and that is that not pleasing to our Mazda. So you have to have balance over there. Then again, sex is sacred. And it has not to be uh, desecrated. The couples are in blessing uh, in our marriages. The couples are asked to love one another through truth. Through truth. They, they are uh, one body, one mind, and they must love one another through truth. So, if they do anything wrong, they must confess it and wipe it out. And all Living creatures are sacred. And when the world became divided into good and evil, then even the, the, the creation got divided. But before that, in Zarathustra's time, it was one creation. Everything is sacred. Every grain of sand is sacred. Every bird that flies is sacred. Every animal for four-footed is sacred. Everywhere you go, it is sacred. Every grain of sand is sacred. So then you can ask yourself, with whom do I fight? If everything in the world is sacred, how can I fight anybody? I am the protector of the world, not its destroyer. That is what Zarathustra wanted people to realize. I am the protector of all living things, not the destroyer. And also it is very clear about uh, sex also. And about, and all living creatures are sacred. But later when the whole earth was poisoned and you had 
anger and wrath and jealousy and all the negative things coming into the world. Uh, and you had uh, uh, not only, only uh, uh, wrath, but Aishma and the lie. To tell a lie is, is a great sin with us. We would rather die, we would rather do anything than tell a lie. And this has saved us. And it has saved us because we have made true friends. We don't make uh, friends in order to exploit them. He will come in useful, he is rich, therefore let me make friends with him. We make friends with everyone. People in front of us, people behind us, people to our left, people to our right. We make friends and genuine friends. 